All right, yes, yes, yes. What is up, you guys? Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm gonna be going over 10 websites on how you can make $100 per day, all right? This is gonna be filled with some really good information. I can guarantee that there's gonna be one website on here that you probably didn't know about just because uh, there's a, a wide variety of different websites on how you can make $100 per day, so I know this is gonna be great for you. Okay, so if this is your first time here on my website and you want to learn more about passive income, uh, working from home and creating a life of freedom, uh, that's what my channel is all about and I put out videos on a consistent basis that will help you do just that. So if you're interested in getting more videos on that, go down and subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you can get notified of future videos, all right? Uh, now, also, before I go into these 10 different websites, and like I said, I'm going to step you through every single one of these to help you. Um, also, I want to let you know that I'm going to leave a link down below in the description, and this is just my number one recommendation on how to make a full-time income from home. So if that's what you're looking for, uh, I recommend going down, clicking on that link, and then I'm also going to give you a free ebook as well. All right? So... With that being said, let's get into, get into this video right now. If you're excited, hit that thumbs up. Uh, it helps the video and I appreciate that, all right? So number one is Upwork.com. If you're not sure what Upwork.com is, let me jump over here. This is a website for freelancers, okay? And just so you know, I've personally used this website not to make money, but to actually hire someone in my own business. So one thing that you have to understand uh, as technology has advanced and where businesses are going because more and more businesses understand the power of using the internet, all right? And honestly, if you're in business and you're not using the power and leveraging the power of the internet to grow your business, you're doing something wrong. Now, where this creates so much opportunity for people is sites like this, upwork.com, where if you want to make money, you can simply come here, you can sign up as a freelancer and whatever skills that you have, you can leverage that and people will come to this website to hire people. That's exactly what I did in my own business and that's what you know so many other business owners are doing right now because they need help growing their business, they need help outsourcing tasks for their business and maybe they lack in those areas. So what do they do? They say, well, I need to hire someone. So they go to a site like this called Upwork. This is exactly what I did. And I find someone who can then do these tasks in my business so that way I can focus on other things. So for example, let's just uh, take a look at some of these categories, okay? Web development. So if you have skills with web development, you can come on here and people will hire you to accomplish those tasks, maybe build, building out a website or they already have a website and they want someone who has those skills to help them with that. All right, design, uh, mobile development, writing, admin support, uh, marketing, and then also just a general virtual assistant, okay? So if you have skills, you know how to use a computer and you believe that you can make money helping people, you can simply come on here and they will hire you uh, to help them with their tasks, all right? Excuse me. I believe that Upwork is amazing. And then, you know, also being on the other side of it where I have hired someone, I love the platform on how it's accountable and how the money gets put into, you know, how it's all set up. It's all done for you. The money, the processing, the payouts, it's all there. So this is a great way to jump on here and start making money with Upwork, okay? Number two is clickbank.com. Now, this is for affiliate marketing, okay? And if you want to go deeper into this and learn how to make a full-time income with affiliate marketing, uh, click that link down below later on after this video and you know, you'll learn everything you need to know about affiliate marketing. But let's jump over to ClickBank and take a look at this, all right? This is an amazing site, okay? And how does this work? So the way that this works is you come on here and take a look at all these different categories. I'll zoom in here. Uh, they have all these different categories of different products on here. And so you can come on here, you can select one of these categories and select a product within a niche. Now, uh, just so you know, I, here's the three niches I recommend. One is health, wealth, and then the other one, what is it? Health, wealth, 
and I forget the other one. Okay. Um, oh, it's uh, relationships, health, wealth, and relationships. Those are the three niches that you can, I would say are the most profitable online. Okay. So let's just go in here to uh, health and fitness, for example. Okay. We're going to come into health and fitness. I'm going to sort this by most popular and all of these products that you see here, you can jump into these it, and it's really cool. And you can, first of all, it's free to sign up to the site and then you promote these products as an affiliate. All right. This is called affiliate marketing, right? And every time someone purchases a program through your link, you make a commission. Okay. And if you do this right and you are consistent with your, your promotions, you can make a lot of money doing this. All right. There are people making six figures in a single month with affiliate marketing. Okay. So it's very powerful. ClickBank is an amazing platform uh, for you to start making money. All right. Let's jump into number three. It's called Flippa. Now I'm going to go in a little bit deeper, maybe than you've heard about this. This is called flipping websites. So this is really cool. Okay. I want to show you some, some really cool tricks about this specific website called flippa.com. All right. So let me just give you an overview of what this, what this is all about. So there are websites out there right now. Okay that are established and that are for sale. Now, why would you buy an existing website? I'm gonna share that with you right now. So one thing about Flippa is really cool that most people think of flipping websites or coming to a web, you know, a domain, buying a domain and then reselling it, okay? Here's what's cool is with Flippa, you can purchase a, a website that's already making money on a monthly basis. So let's see if I can find one down here as an example. Okay. This one here, piano keyboard reviews four days ago, it's selling for $2,000. Okay. Now, obviously there's, there's websites with, you know, the, the price range varies. You don't have to buy a $2,000 website. Here's one for 27 bucks, six bucks. It just depends. Okay. Now, if they're making money, if they're making a lot of money, obviously you're going to pay more, but let's just say you wanted to invest $2,000 into this website. So let's click on this. All right. So it's uh, piano dash keyboard dot reviews or yes, uh, slash reviews dot com. Okay. Now here's what's awesome in, that I love about this website. Okay. You can come down here. You can see that the site is 11 years old. So it's been around a while and then you can come right here. Bam. And I'm going to zoom in on this so you can see, cause this is really cool. Net profit per month. So in net profit, this website is making $723 per month. So if you were to invest into this $2,000, right, you can do the math and find out, okay, well, how long is it going to take for me to recuperate my investment and then actually start making profit with this website? Okay. And that's what I really love about Flippa. If you want to come on here and, and buy websites that are already making money, that's great. And I, I would venture to say that this website is making all of its money. It is, I can already see it right there, uh, through Amazon. So through Amazon affiliate links. So we already talked about affiliate marketing. Amazon has an affiliate program. And so they do reviews of these piano keyboards. Boom. People click on there to buy it off of Amazon. When that happens, this website makes money. So immediately, you know, that you're going to be making money with this website and it's only going to take a few months for you to be in profit. All right. Really cool website, flippa.com. All right, let's go to the next one. Shutterstock. All right, I'm going to jump over here to shutterstock.com. And now this is a website where people go to buy uh, images, video clips, and music tracks. Okay, so across all of internet land, right, people are not allowed to just steal uh, images. They're not allowed to just steal video clips uh, or music tracks. They have to be royalty free. Okay. And not only do they have to be royalty free, like you can see here, um, sorry, I'm pointing at it. You can't see where my finger is, but right here, royalty free images. So royalty free, what does that mean? Well, there's different level of licensing, licensing, uh, different material online, uh, or I guess I should say media, but royalty free means that you are given the rights to use this media, whether it be images, video or sound or music. So people all across the internet in businesses, entrepreneurs come to this website and they purchase 
images, music, and video clips. So how do you make money with this? Well, if you want to put your uh, media on here and sell it, every time someone sells or every time someone purchases off this website from one of the media uh, clips or video clips, music tracks that you upload, you are getting royalties from it. Boom, boom, boom. Now what's cool about this is this can be a great source of passive income. Okay, so you, you upload your content on here one time and then as people purchase it, they could purchase it tomorrow, they could purchase it in six months, a year, two years. It doesn't matter. As long as people are buying it down the road, you're getting royalties and that's something that's really cool about Shutterstock.com, okay? And then of course, you can scroll down and, and, and visit the website. You can see all the things that go into this, but it's a really cool way to make some money, all right? Shutterstock, let's get to the next one. Number five is Amazon Kindle Publishing, all right? So let's take a look at this. Amazon Kindle Publishing. This is absolutely free to sign up. And so what, what most people don't understand is that there are so many ways that you can make money online. There's so many ways. And this is just another way where I personally know people on here making a really good passive income from this. Now, Let's just jump over and, and show you. Uh, so what you need to know is that it's called KDP. So Amazon Kindle or Kindle Publishing Direct or Direct Publishing, sorry. And you write your eBooks or you can even outsource it. Go to Fiverr and uh, have someone write it or go to Upwork and have someone write it. And then you post your, your book onto Amazon through KDP and then you'll show up here, okay, on Amazon Kindle uh, where people come here and they buy books. Now, one thing that I want you to know is that writing an ebook is a great way to make some passive income. Now, are you going to become a millionaire doing this? Are you going to make a ton of money? I would pr I would say probably not. But another cool thing about this, well, first of all, passive income is great, right? So same thing. You you publish a great book on here and it sells over and over and over, you're gonna get royalties from your book over and over again. So that's a great source of passive income. But the other cool thing about this is if you have another business that you're trying to promote, right? Or another product or something that you're trying to sell, writing an ebook and putting it on Amazon Kindle Publishing is such a great way to drive leads for your business. Whatever your business is, an ebook on Amazon Kindle is an amazing way to drive leads and make sales through Amazon. And you can get that on there, on here for absolutely free. My mom's calling. <laughs> I'll call her back. So you can get your, your book on here for free and drive leads and sales. So that's just another bonus of doing this. All right. So let's get into the next one, Fiverr. So I had mentioned this a second ago, but Fiverr is a great way to make money. And this is kind of like freelancing again. But here's the thing about Fiverr is there are so many different uh, little things that you can do. So figure out what your skills are. What are you good at that you can start making money with? So check this out. They have writing and underwriting resumes and cover letters. Can you write resumes and cover letters for people? If you can, you can start making money on here. Proofreading, editing, creative writing, business copywriting, legal writing. Sometimes people need legal documents, okay? That's just one area, okay? It's writing and translation. Digital marketing is another. Graphics and design is another. Video animation, music and audio. So you can see that people come to this website and they pay other people, which could be you, for doing something for them, okay? It's pretty simple. Uh, it's a great website. Now, I personally have used this website to purchase, uh, to purchase, uh, 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 you know, from other people, uh, little jobs. Okay, to have them do things for me and my business, and I've done it, and it's great. And what's even better is the person on the other end who I was paying made money for doing these little projects. All right, it's great. All right, there you go, Fiverr. Number seven, text broker. Now. I love this one because I think this is a great way for people who want to start writing to make money. So let me jump over to Textbroker and show you guys this. All right, textbroker.com. 
That's this website. So I'm going to briefly cover this, but I just want to show you. Okay. So I write content. Let's go over here because that's what you would be doing to make money. And so here's how this works is you're going to come on here and everything just so you know is on a star rating. So how much money do you make? That all depends on how much you write, how fat or not how fast you write the projects that you write and then your star rating. So the better you become at writing, the more money that you can make. So let me just jump over here. Okay. Oh, and disclaimer about this website. Uh, I did find out from one of my YouTube subscribers that this is only available in the United States. From what I've been told, this is only available in the United States. Okay. But this company works with some pretty other big companies. Yoast is for uh, WordPress blogs. Uh, it's a plugin. Staples, eBay, so you can see some pretty big companies, but let's take a look at this. So let's just say that you're not that great of a writer. Okay. You'll, you're going to make uh, seven cents per word. Now, if you're a great writer, you're going to make five cents per word. So let's just take a look uh, at their word counter and say that you are a good writer. Okay. And remember, this is all based on uh, this star rating. So you're going to get a star rating based on your writing. Okay. But you know, if you strive to improve, you make more money. Let's check this out. Let's just say you write an article, okay, 2,500 words, all right? That's really not that long. And there's also, you can do speech to text through Google Docs. I did another video on this, um, but just so you know, you can go into Google Docs and do speech to text where you just speak the words and you start writing. It's really cool. So if you wrote, let's just say two of these, okay? Now you're making $250 a day, all right? That, and I think that's doable to write two articles in one day. And you're making 200 bucks a day with text broker. So if you guys want more information on this, go check out textbroker.com. All right. Number eight, Amazon handmade. Now I think even still to this day, a lot of people out there do not know about Amazon handmade. So more than likely you've probably heard of a website called Etsy, right? Etsy. And you can go on there, you can open a store and you can start selling like handmade stuff. Well, little do most people know Amazon has something just like that. And I'd venture to say over time, it's probably going to blow up and become really big. So let's take a look at Amazon handmade. All right. This is Amazon handmade and you can just simply do a little search for it to, to find this, but check this out. So these are people who create these, you know, little stores on Amazon in their little niches and, and they sell products. So check this out. Look at all these different products, jewelry, home and kitchen, wedding, handbags, beauty and grooming, uh, stationery and party, toys, games, baby, pets, clothing, shoes, okay? Now, and then of course, all the pricing is here. Uh, somehow you can partner with uh, Amazon and do Prime. That sounds cool. Some people want it now. You know, we live in a microwave society, so everybody wants everything now. So if you have Amazon Prime, you know, that might push someone over the edge to become a buyer from you. So check this out, you guys. Why would you choose Amazon handmade versus maybe Etsy? So I want to explain something to you real, real briefly. And I know this video is getting kind of long, but I know, I also know it's very helpful to a lot of people. So I'm going to keep going with this. The reason that you would want to choose Amazon handmade in my, this is just my humble opinion is that when you understand Amazon, you have to understand something about Amazon. And that is Amazon is filled with buyers, okay, buyer customers who have their credit card on file or debit card. They have a card on file. They are buyers. And so when they come to Amazon, they're ready to buy. They are already buyers. So the cool thing about this is you are tapping into Amazon's buyer base. They already exist. They already have a card on file and they're here because they're ready to buy. They're looking for something. So if they come to Amazon handmade, they find your products, you are more likely to make a sale. All right. That's just my opinion. So let's get into number nine, which is Pinterest. So we're going into kind of social media. Uh, one thing that you need to understand about Pinterest is it's not, you know, a lot of people think of Pinterest as social media, but the better thing or the, the, thing that you need to keep in mind about social media or uh, Pinterest is that it's a search engine. 
Okay, it's a search engine and there are people making a ton of money through Pinterest. So for example, I just did a little search called gardening tips. Okay, so you have all these pins here that are having to do with gardening tips. Now more than likely, most of these, if you click on them, they'll go back to a website where they give good information, valuable information, but what's better is that they have something there that they're selling, okay? And that's how people are making money. Now, what if you don't have a product? How can you monetize on this? Well, remember, we talked about a website called ClickBank. So you can pick a niche from ClickBank, pick a product, start using Pinterest and creating pins leading back to your website where you're promoting a product as an affiliate, all right? So Pinterest is an amazing way to make money, you guys. All right, let's talk about the last one I have for you guys, and that is YouTube. And I saved this for last because I believe in YouTube, you guys. I've made tens of thousands of dollars through my YouTube channel, even when I was super small. And, you know, in comparison to big channels, I'm still really small. You know, if you take a look at the time of filming this video, uh, right now you can see here I have 15,000 subscribers, 15,600. And just last month, through driving traffic to products and services from YouTube alone, I made a full-time income last month. And the, the crazy thing about YouTube also that you need to understand is that it is a search engine, okay? People come here looking for solutions uh, to their problems. They, they come here looking for reviews and they come here looking for information. Now, if you have information that you can help people with and you have a product or service tied to it, you can make a lot of money. I'm not talking about making money through the ads, all right? I've made a couple thousand dollars through ads on YouTube. That's not what I'm talking about. That's just bonus money, all right? That's just play money, can, you know, can pay for your gas in your car or whatever. What I'm talking about is growing a business through YouTube, okay? Now again, I recommend going down, click the link below this, this uh, video right now to, to learn how to build a full-time income online, all right? That's my re recommended, number one recommended way to make money online. That's how I made a full-time income last month online. But you have to understand where are you getting your traffic from and how are you building uh, authority online? Well, YouTube is an amazing way to do it, you guys. So I hope that you guys got value out of this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. You know, go click that like button real quick. Hit the like button. And I really appreciate that. It really does help the video out. And if you want me to create a video on something else that you want to learn about, uh, or you have something to comment on about this video, drop me a comment down below and I will engage with you guys down there. All right. So I hope you got something out of this. Again, if this is your first time on Freedom Influencer, I encourage you to go down and subscribe and hit the bell notification to get more videos from me in the future. This is Nathan with Freedom Influencer. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.